Okay, we are going to make mom bread. And the first thing we're gonna do is microwave the, and heat up the milk, um, a half of cup of butter in three and a half cups milk. And I actually use uh, 1%. Um, you could use 2% whole milk, water, whatever you prefer. So this is gonna heat in the microwave for three minutes till that butter is melted. And then we're going to uh, put all the dry ingredients into the mixer. Uh, the first thing we're going to use is uh, three, and a half, three cups of whole wheat flour, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a cup of oat bran for roughage, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger, which kind of helps blend, bring out the flavor, five teaspoons equivalent to two packages of dry yeast. This is the yeast I use. It's an instant yeast. There's other brands on the market. I prefer this one. It's easy to find on the internet. And then we're going to um, mix this together, blend it, and we're going to add the dry, the wet ingredients to this and kind of give it a really, get the gluten started and then we're going to add the bread flour. Okay, the milk is done. It's melted in, butter is melted in, and sometimes your butter won't be completely melted, but really soft enough that it will blend in with the flour. So we are going to mix this, um, just kind of get the, the gluten started. Just pour it all in. The one thing that happens with a KitchenAid is the flour gets trapped at the very bottom of the bowl. So I always mix it with a wooden spoon first. So now we're going to add the bread flour. And that is um, three and a half, four and a half cups. So I scoop it out and I always level it off with the end of my wooden spoon because I, it's handy. So now we're just going to blend, stir this in. And then we stick it under or in the mixer with the dough hook and turn it on and let it mix for about 10 minutes. And I like to mix mine on the level two. So here it goes, 10 minutes. And I always set my timer. So now we are going to put it in a warm ceramic bowl to rise. Let rise for an hour. So dry it out really good. And then we're gonna grease it with just some butter. Take the bread out of the bread bowl. And I again, I scrape the bottom just to make sure I got all the flour. And then I just make a ball out of it. Get all the extra stuff out. And then I cover it with a clean kitchen towel and put it in a dry, draft-free place. It usually ends up being on the back of my, um, my range. A finished loaf. It's really nice and full. The bowl was a little small for it. Now I'm gonna just punch, punch this down, kind of work it in back into a ball, get all the, you can kind of pat it a little bit, get all the air out of it. And I'm gonna break it into three pieces because I have these really great French bread pans that are well seasoned uh, that I've greased with vegetable oil. And then I just go by feel, try to get three loaves that are as even as I can. And then I just start gently working and pulling from the outside in to start forming a nice ball. And now this is going to proof, which just means it's going to do its final rise into the shape. And then we will let this rise for another hour, covered with plastic wrap also in a clean towel, and um, bake it in an oven. So now we're going to put these and bake them in a 350 degree oven 
on the middle rack and this is a nice big oven that all three fit in. You don't want them touching and they bake for 30 minutes. In a, this is a convection oven, set it at 350. Time to set my timer and we wait. I'm going to take it out of the oven and turn the bread out of the pan onto their side so that the crust um, stays nice and crisp. If you leave uh, bread after it's done in a bread pan, the crust will get really soggy. Okay, we're ready to cut this up. Always cut bread on its side. See what this looks like. Nice sharp bread knife. And we love this bread. It makes the best peanut butter sandwiches. Open face cheese sandwiches. Just put cheddar cheese and broil them. And I love it with butter. And my son Johnny loves it with cinnamon sugar. It's the best.